In this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the activity reading with ledger lines for the upper lines, which would be the treble clef staff. So once you've opened Practica Musica, you will then need to select the Exploring Theory course, select Chapter 1, Notation of Pitch, and then select Reading with Ledger Lines, and click the tab Open. Once the program has opened, you will then need to go up to the top menu bar and select Reading with Ledger Lines. Oh, sorry, I'll try that again. Um, on the tabs down here, for the first example, you're going to click on the tab Upper Ledgers, which is what is on right now, but just to show you again. And once you've clicked Upper Ledger Lines, the top piece will show you that you need to score five or 600 to complete the activity module. I was working on it a few weeks ago, and so right now I've gotten up to a score of 500, so I have 100 points left to go. As we looked at ledger lines in the video, remember that musical alphabet repeats over and over and over again, and it just alternates line, space, line, space. So like we did in the last two examples where I told you to pick the first note as your reference point, for this example, we'll want to do the same thing. And so in this example, I'm going to look at my first note here, and I'm going to start down here with what I already know. So in this case, I'm going to figure out what this line note would be, and then I can do my musical alphabet all the way up to find out what my first note is. So to get to this line, I'm going to start on the line down here. And we learned that every good boy does fine. And so that means that the next line note up would be the note A. So every good boy does fine. The space note here is G, and the next line is A. That means the space here is B, the next line is C. The next space is D, the next line is E, the next space is F, the next line is G, and that means this top note is the note A. And again, as you play these notes, do not worry at all about the speed or the rhythm. So now that I know this first note is A, I then need to find it on my computer keyboard. So I'm going to jump back down to middle C, which I know middle C is the note below the treble clef staff with the first line. So to do it another way is to also use the octaves. Remember that octaves show you um, the notes that are related to each other, like all the C's or all the D's, but that are higher or lower versions. So if I start with my middle C, the next C that I encounter is in the space. The next C that I encounter from there is this second line. So I already know to find A that I come down to my keyboard, I find the yellow triangle for middle C, I'm going to go up an octave to the second C, then up one more octave to the third C. And now from this C, I'm going to go up the alphabet to A. So C, D, E, F, G, and A. And you'll notice in these examples that the notes are all fairly close together in order to make it a little bit simpler. So now I can play my note A. The next note goes down to the next line, which means I play the neighbor note G. The next note goes to the space below G, which makes it F. The next note goes to the line below F, which makes it E. I go back up a space note to F, and then I jump all the way down to C. In this case, now I've got to jump all the way back up. So let's look, because this is a significant leap. If I know this note with two ledger lines is C, let's see what this next note would be. C, space note D, line note E, space note F. My next line note now with four lines is the note G. So again, I go from middle C up to the next octave C, up to the next octave C, and then I go back up to G, C, D, E, F, G. 
The note following G goes down to the space below, which makes it the note neighbor F, back up to G, back down to F. I'm going to go from the space note F to the next space note, which means I skip G to A, back to the note F. Now I go to the line note below F, which makes it the note neighbor E, up to the space note F, up to the next line note G, and finally up to the next space note, which is A. Okay. So at this point, it's showing me that I've completed this module. And it says you can do it all over again if you'd like to, which I'd recommend if you especially feel uncomfortable with this. So to do another example, I'm going to click the tab New Example. And reading these ledger lines is much easier because now I'm very close to my treble clef staff. So again, let's find our first note. This is the reference point for what we are playing. I'm going to start down here with the bottom line, which I know is every good boy does fine. So then from my line note F at the top of my treble clef staff, I go up the musical alphabet to the space note G. The next note on the line would be A. To find this note on my piano keyboard, remember I'm going to jump all the way back down to middle C. and I'm going to count out from middle C to the space D, E. F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. So that means when I come to the keyboard and I see my triangle for middle C, I'm going to count up D, E, F, G, A, B to the next C, and then up to A, C, D, E, F, G, and then A. So my first note, A. The note below it is in the space, which is the neighbor note, G back up to A. Now back to a space note on the treble clef staff, which I know is E from the hidden face, F-A-C-E. Back up, and I see this note is above the line, so it would be considered a space note. And if I go up to F, up to G, up to the line A, the note above the line in the space is the note B. Back to the first ledger line note A, then back to the next space note G, up to the line note A, back to the space note G, to the next space note means that I skip my line note A and I click on B, back to my line note A, a favor, now it's A again, back down to my line note, or space note G, and then back up to my line note A. For this example, I'm going to click on the tab here so that I can hear what the melody would sound like if it was played with the matching rhythm pattern. So that's what it would sound like, although that was very fast. So at this point, if I am working towards my score 600, I've now gotten 150 points and I would need to click new example to continue. I'm going to stop the example so that you have lots of time to work on your own module. So I'm going to come up to reading with ledger lines and select quit this activity.